In this video, I'm going to show you how to scan for tickers that have at least a five dot squeeze. Hello and welcome back, Dr. B here with Ready, Set, Grow. And on this channel, my goal is to share tips to help you on your financial and trading journey. If you're new here, like and subscribe. Check the description for the scans that I'm using in the video and for the link to my Discord server. If you've watched any of my past videos, then you know that the TTM squeeze is my primary indicator of choice. It identifies periods of consolidation in a stock. Once you've added it to your chart, you will see a series of red and green dots. The red dots identify a period of consolidation and the green dots let you know that the stock is no longer consolidating. Please. On TOS, you will go to the scan tab, then select the second drop down menu. Go to the load scan query and then go down to create scan query. You're going to name your scan. You're going to X out of anything that auto populates here. Select add filter and we're going to go to study. Once study appears, select ADX crossover, select custom and we're going to go to the think script editor. And in the ThinkScript editor, you're going to paste this code. So delete and paste. This is a code that allows me to scan for stocks to have at least a five dot squeeze. I'll post this code in the description. Once you've copied the code, it has to be copied exactly as is. You select OK and you're going to save your scan. Now to load your scan, select the second drop down menu, load scan query, personal, and select the one that you just named. Now you have created your scan and you are able to scan for tickers that are in a squeeze for at least five bars. Let's run the scan on the weekly time frame just to see what results populate. There are over 2000 tickers that have at least a five dot squeeze on the weekly. So we're going to narrow this down by filtering it. What we're going to do here is where it says scan in, you're going to select that. We're going to go to category and we're going to go down to all optionable. This allows us to look at stocks that have options. Then I'm going to select intersect. I'm going to go to S through, through W and I'm going to go down to where it says weeklies. This allows us to scan for stocks that have weekly options and weekly options are usually more liquid. Once you've added these two filters, let's go ahead and save our scan again. So I'm going to save and it should be saved as the same name as you saved it before. Select save. It's going to say that this scan already exists. Yes, because we already created it and I'm just adding something different to it. So are you sure you want to rewrite it? You press okay. Now let's run the scan again on the weekly and see if this narrows our results a bit. And it does. It took us from over 2000 results to now only 76 results. You can add more filters here to narrow this down even further. Filters such as volume, filters such as average true range, MACD, or any of the things that you are looking for. You would add an additional filter by selecting add filter. If it's a study, you select study and you add whichever study you're going to be looking at. Okay, if you are looking to add things like volume, then you can go here, select option. Here, select option, go to the drop down menu and select volume and then put your minimum or maximum volume here. This scan could be used to identify tickers that you can potentially swing. For example, if a stock is in a squeeze on the weekly or daily time frame, then you could probably enter that pending all other things are aligned and swing it and wait for that potential burst of energy. This can also be used to identify stocks that are in a consolidation phase on the small time frames for possible day trading opportunities. And that's how you scan for tickets that are in a squeeze. Thank you for joining me today. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and I'll see you next time.